just wandering along. And because I have it, I might as well just eat one of these bars. You always have them around. Uh, where's the one? I gotta, yeah, there we go. I gotta say, I like those. those all, I see the doubles there, but I'd have to have a regular one, right? As far as I can tell, the, the batteries will just never replenish unless you use a bar. So, whenever I use one up permanently, I might as well just eat a bar immediately, so that I can then have them all available to me in the future if needed. So they're all guarding that in general direction, and there's a camera, which helps me think that that's the direction we need to deal with. But that, but this back door here is probably an easier way in. Yeah, that wraps around and bypasses those guys. Uh, that it might even be the security part of the room too. So we'll see if that helps me. It says there's offices in a microgen lab. Just gonna pop on through here. Thank you. Don't suppose you got. Ooh, hello. We've got a secretary. Door code to the biochem labs. That'll be useful. You're unlocked. This is it just emails? Uh, is Stefan Ivanov saying help. If you want my advice, go to the archives room. Borrow the Mark Ultra files for now. I keep hoping to see an email about the jammers for me to, to rely on. For how late we are in the game, I'm surprised how many things are totally uncompromised here. Whoa. The joke will be on you to whomever felt it necessary to change my screensaver and desktop background to something involving pornographic farm animals for the third time this week. Very mature. If you... Uh, I will have you all know that I am now installing tracking software on my computer and have asked security to place a hidden camera somewhere inside the lab. I will report, be uh, reporting the next person that decides to compromise the integrity of my workstation with these disgusting images. You have been warned. Dwayne. P.S. I am still awaiting the return of my stapler. I know you have it, Jim. Well, he's just a joy to be around. And it sounds like he has been idling with his computer and not and not locking it and with a password or anything. So people are just covering it with furry porn. That's what's going on there. And, and that kind of stuff probably only happens because you make a reputation for being like the least fun person at the entire company. So congrats on that too, I guess. That guy's still... Yep, there are... He's going around the corner. Quickly. Quickly. That camera's disabled already, thank goodness. Almost certainly right in here, I would say. Yep, that's probably who I'm looking for. So next priority is to deal with that guy. Wait for it. Uh, do you not come down the hallway? I don't think he comes down the hallway. Huh. Also, first of all, really quick, click. Oh, shit. So many mistakes were just made. All right. And nobody cared. The end. So, you might have seen a uh, brief moment of panic by the wall there. What happened is I was trying to use the, my hacking device to open the door. The door was not locked. It, I, I guess they decided those lasers were enough security. So, slightly wasteful of my energy, which I've now drained, unfortunately. I'll go ahead and just use one of these again. No, not move. There we go. And I believe that's our old cohort. I don't know these guys. These are just civilians. They're just civilians, not like kidnapped scientists, but all, but from other labs. So that elevator's a way down. Let's see. Six, the six, the, the six month war, Arab front. Any details? Special stuff around here. Ooh, it's a whole. Lab back here. That guy's not even. It always is funny how games are just characters in those games are just never bothered by you wandering around their quarters. Like no one's alarmed by me doing what I'm doing right now. Just gonna wander on down here. Research review. 
Dr. Reed, this is from Eric Koss. I, I don't mean to rock the boat, but maybe you could convince them to lead, uh, let you come by and check on my work in person sometime. I feel it's progressing in the right direction, but since I don't have access to the original Patient X files anymore, I'm simply not sure I'm getting the mutagenic co uh, chemical composition right. And you know how important that formula is when it comes to stabilizing the nerve interface connection. Without it, these biochips won't work at all. I hear you, Eric, but under I, and I understand, but I don't think they'll listen to me. It was hard enough convincing them to allow this level of interaction between us. Soldiers are used to being compartment, uh, compartment, uh, God damn it, compartmentalized, 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 compartmentalized. It stopped being a word about halfway through the first time I said it, and I know exactly what the word is, and it's just I can't process it all of a sudden. I think it's because I've never seen it written out before. Like, I've, I've encountered it before, and I know what it means, because it's just separating people off and sectioning them in, away and everything, but... Something about hearing, seeing it in that huge form and then trying to pronounce it... I think part of it is that, like, it feels like it... That it, it feels like the word's shorter than it looks, because it looks way longer. Huh. Anyway. They think everyone else should be able to work in the dark, too. Knowing only half the information... I am reviewing all your work, though, so don't worry. I'll let you know if you're, st you're straying too far off. That is, that, is, that is kind of a valid thing you'd kind of expect to hear. The idea that, uh... They're so used to not knowing all the information all the time and just getting orders that, uh... They would not understand how scientists actually work and how they need to communicate. So, v this is from Vasily Shevchenko, who's the, the now deceased. Eric, I don't know where they're leaking... Uh, where they're keeping you, but... Rest assured, you're not alone. Declan and I are being forced to work in the microgen building, se uh, separately of course, but from time to time our paths have crossed. I intend to get you out of here. If there's any way for you to slip a note to the morgue, telling Declan where you are, uh, t then do it. We'll find a way to get you home, son. Stay strong. So he's planning on getting everyone out. Using their email system probably wasn't the smartest call. I, get, I, get, I bet that somebody caught wind of uh, that pretty quickly. And that's probably why he's very dead, for trying to compromise everything. But what, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but... They didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I know, and I'm here to bring you all back. But to reach Megan, I need you, Colvin, and Faraday to stage lab accidents as a distraction, simultaneously. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? We need to disable their GPL tracker. I know Dr. Sevchenko was working on something. Yes, a, a virus program. We all thought it was too risky considering we had nowhere to go. But I don't have it. You'd better check with Nia or Declan. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here. At least to a certain extent, uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well... Everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. Declan, right. 
Dr. Cost, do you have any idea where they're keeping him? I, I might. I, I overheard some of the guards. I, I think he might be working in the basement of the biomech labs. But I, I'm not sure. Sit tight, Dr. Cost. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, set off that distraction. That'll be the signal. I will. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And hurry. Two down, one to go. Alright. Try to continue being quiet about the whole thing. Let's see, I didn't get ghost that time. I wonder if it's just... If it's, uh, only... Well, well, well maybe it's one, once permission? Maybe it's because I alerted people a little bit, but I feel like the alerting a little bit thing happened already in the previous mission. I'm not sure. I, f I mean, not previous mission, the previous objective. Just sneaking around, being all sneaky sneaky. Hey buddy, don't mind me, no one sees me, I'm invisible, crap you turned around, you're gonna kill my battery. Ah, I didn't make it. I, <laughs> I want to conserve my battery power, it's valuable. But I didn't, I failed it. I failed my battery power. Get right back out to that sky. The skywalk I think it was called. Yeah. Going out to hit, <laughs> almost thinking of Skywalker Ranch just because we're going on a skywalk and we were just hearing, we were just reading a, a dialogue about uh, the old ranch when they were talking about the World Health Organization and everything. All right, so maybe I'll wait till I use up a little more power so we can use the bigger sources of energy re uh, restoration because we have a lot of those and they're taking up a lot of space. Whereas the single-use candies are a little less obtrusive. So somewhere in here, there's going to be one more guy, and between invisibility and seeing through walls, we'll have some help finding him. That might be him. That sure looks like a guy in a coat instead of being a guy with a gun. Yeah, those 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 models look pretty different. Okay. That guy still there? Nope. Gun guy's gone. Mr. Giant Rifleman. Oh, there he is. He's moving around. All right. I need to know where the stairs are, if I'm going to go downstairs. Not there. Those are stairs that just go around the floor. I think I need to use that elevator then. So my goal should be to go... Straight ahead, actually. Should be, looks like it's how I get there. Unless I want to go take the staircase up, but I don't think that's the right spot. I think that guy, I think down there is the right spot to go. So I need to go straight across this room to reach the elevator. And that dude is looking straight at me. I could just go invisible, but I kind of like trying to stealth through. Is someone hiding over there? Nope. Like nope, no one's hiding anywhere. I'm an idiot. That was the worst way to go about that. I'm gonna go over here now. Yeah. I don't even know... They, they, they changed their mind really quick. They, they, that went really quickly from, Is somebody over there? To die, corner. That has no one in it that I can see. Is there a security terminal around here, maybe? They seem mad about whatever's going on over there. Alright, well, I'm definitely not going to ghost this time. That's for sure. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Checking this room. They suddenly got really interested in this area. I wonder why that is. Did they get alarmed to me somehow? There's the security room, I'm sure. I'm sure it's exactly where it is. They can't see me right now. There's the elevator. That should be my goal. Right, I think. Just gonna hang out behind this thing for a moment. 
Hoot! I'd better. I'd better. <laughs> I have escaped you with the magical elevator. No one will suspect why it's going away. Uh, no one around? Good. That's a good start. It actually kind of feels a little bit good to go burning through my energy. Uh, I don't like using up stuff, obviously, in general, but it feels like there's it feels like there was a reason for why I built it all up in the first place. Now, at least. Oh, is there actually? Oh no, they're doing it again. It's just like the previous area where they're experimenting on people. And then they all die and they go to the morgue. After they're experimented on. And they'll just sit here and suffer because they're kidnapping people. It's just like what we saw in the DLC. Except now people that were supposed to try to stay keep alive- That people who were supposed to keep alive are doing it, which just... Yay. <laughs> Enjoy trying to live this one off, buddy. The empty ones are almost more worrying. It's like there was probably somebody in there before they died. It's a bad time all around. I don't think there's much to interact with, though. It's just kind of an empty room. And they even the character models are repeating. Wow. So many people. You're a terrible person. Yeah, they kidnapped you and all that. I uh, has this- is this a concept that's ever happened in any real-life context ever? I feel like it's only in a sci-fi context. And a movie kind of context where we try to... ...come up with this idea of, like, kidnapping scientists that make them science all over the place with their science powers. <laughs> like, sci- like, like scientists could at any moment could just change the world and all you have to do is kidnap the right ones and... Pour, ...force them at gunpoint to science all over the, uh, until the world is different. Should I go out there? Kind of curious. What are you hiding back here? Hello, gas. Owie. Did that fill the entire room? No. Nope. Oh, looks like I turned it off in that one brief moment. Trailblazer. Where's this one, where's this one gonna go? Is this just an alternate path to where I am? I just wanna see where it's gonna take me. Do you have secrets for me? Hi there. Oh, roof access. Oh. I'm just back outside again, aren't I? Oh yeah. So it's an alternate way inside the building. If I t so I'd, if I found this one really weirdly located vent, I could have snuck directly in. It even has a kind of a cool path. But this would have been a, a quick way to get directly to my exact goal. It's almost it's almost bizarre how convenient this path is, actually. How it goes directly to the spot. But damn, that's a specific place to know about. That is a second playthrough kind of shortcut where you're like, Oh, yes. I remember that little weird thing I found. I'm gonna just hop on this roof and skip past everything and bam, objective. Because holy crap. That's a hell of a straight shot to the actual guy. Hello. Oh, yep. Yeah. I figured that's- I figured this was exactly what it was. I looked at the map, I'm like, that looks like one of those uh, those observational medical rooms. This- this chair over here. That where the dean sits. Yeah, it's, it looks like- it looks like a university, like, medi uh, medical observation room. So when I saw that on the map, I was like, that's probably where he is. Guess it's supposed to be the bio people. Yep. That means nothing to me. Sweet. Ribs! No, no information to glean, no items in the inventory, uh, in the environment. Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. 
They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. Vasily gave it to me before he disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, Doc. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Tell me, where do I find this security terminal? Vasily told me there's a tunnel leading to it, near the back of the compound, I believe. But I'm afraid you'll have to explore a bit to be sure. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. There we go. We got somewhere to go. So now we just need to get our way to this terminal. Which is nearby, maybe? Maybe not? Where's this X? There it is. The unused northern chunk of the map. So we want to go back to the previous one, then head north from the main floor. Or just go into the alleys. In fact, that uh, open vent took me right around here, I believe. So I could pretty go, pretty much go straight from there. I don't think I saw a jamming position. Yeah, I never found the signal jammer, did I? Don't necessarily know where to look, either. Any update? Let's see. We'll, we'll have to see if it comes up later. We're going to a security terminal, so that seems like a place where maybe that kind of thing would be nearby. We'll, we'll see if we get lucky along the way. Otherwise, who's to say? Heading right on back. Alright. We head to the morgue, we can reach the alley and get right out there. It is weird how there's just a missing texture here. It's so weird. It's just flat black. And sometimes a little red. Like, it's just... It's just not rendering the texture. And it's consistent, too. It's been that way the entire playthrough. Oops. There we go. Right, so we found all three of them. They're all working. They're all ready to do the distraction. So it's actually been surprisingly quick to do a pretty major form of progress that we've been waiting to do this entire playthrough up to this point. Where are the guys at? No sign of people. Yeah, even the map doesn't indicate people are nearby. Here's a question: Is that robot about to turn the corner? Don't see it. Trying to determine whether or not this robot's inside or outside the building. I hear it, so it's close. That's it. Seems outside. Yep, there it is. So there's an open- there's a door that can open. There's a whole back path I could use here. Without much hassle, probably. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy way in. They done broke their security panels. What are they gonna do about that? The World Health Organization. 
Can I hop over that? Probably. Maybe. Don't see a reason to, though. Seems to be vacant. Oh, what do you have here? Mines. EMP grenade, absolutely. Not always heavy on my use of, uh... Of mines, necessarily, but I'm always happy to find a grenade. Shotgun and sniper aren't really priorities either, so this is a dead end with just some loot in it, huh? Well, you get experience for finding it. There's that. I got another EMP grenade for the supply, so that's worthwhile, too. Makes me half tempted to throw one at this guy and just be done with it. Can I throw... I actually don't know if I can throw hacking grenades at a robot or not. I don't remember if you can... I don't know if you can hack them automatically. Or if you can hack them at all, necessarily. Kind of want to get in here. Let's just be fast. Come on. Could you go any more slowly? There we go. Ta-da! Oh my goodness! Laser rifle, crossbow. I've never... Have I seen a crossbow before? We've seen crossbow bolts like old game, it feels like, but... Otherwise... Yeah, it's all boring items for people to shoot things. I want to have like 10 more hacking devices and EMP grenades. Those are the cool things. Or a Praxis kit. I don't think there was a Praxis kit. It's just, yeah, it's just guns that I don't use. All right. Well, we now we know. Robots, robots are on the corner right now. Just keeping an eye out. Ew. Gotta wait for him to pass by. Is that a camera up there? Show is. Got get off the wall, damn it. <laughs> Gotta go fast. There we go. The robots are such a weird thing to have. Why would you have robots patrolling anyway? Just set up cameras. You already have cameras that look around. You should, the, I feel like the robots should just should just be sitting there on like a charger or in a containment facility. And then, like, they deploy whenever so the cameras pick something up. It seems like it'd be way more cost-efficient to have more cameras running than to have a bunch of robots actually functionally moving around. That just seems silly. Then again, this is a camera where... This is a game where cameras are massive, ridiculous-looking devices. And not, like, actually how big cameras are in real life. Even though it's supposed to be the future, because it's like a weird... Campy future, which is the which is the fun kind. That's not invisibility. Mixed up my two buttons for a second there. Oh god, I got stuck in a dead end. Let's just move on along. Oh, that's a closed window though. So I'm, if I'm gonna go in there, I probably have to go past the robot. Yep, that'll be a thing to deal with. So behind me is an elevator, but not much else. Just goes. Oh, doesn't even necessarily seem to go down. Huh. So, gotta go forward through that or break through a window is our option. And so far, not generally into breaking windows. By the way. Oh, do I not. Oh. Maybe not? That's the only candy I see. I must have finished the other stack already. I was looking for the uh, other existing stack to finish off. Oh well, I'll finish these off and I'll have more room for a whole lot of... A whole lot of stun grenades. I'm just gonna go off, just lose my mind next time we fight a, an enemy that's out in the open. There's the security bot. See, that's what I was talking about. You put the security bot behind a door, and it's just like being energy efficient, and then it goes and bursts out when your camera picks them up. Although, you know... This game has giant, hilarious tank cameras instead of, like, the small ones that are that you put everywhere. And they're only every now and then. And they rotate in over a really narrow f field of view instead of having, like, a wide-angle lens like real cameras. So, I guess we're making a lot of concessions to ignore realism in favor of crazy land. That was a terrible sentence. Uh, hello? Are you the... Oh, yeah. 
You could almost be the... No, you're probably not it. You're probably not the, uh... The jammer. You're just the main objective. The jammer wouldn't be marked like that right now. Do I want to do something to pick up the grenade? I have a lot of them already. I have concussive and I have gas. And, um... I think I'll drop a concussive for a EMP at the very least. Alright, let's hack. What are our chances here? Oh, level 3 is not too bad, usually. Uh, our goals... We have a few goals, don't we? Okay, so we have to start here. And we can't go to them, is the tough thing. Low chance of being caught. Not that I trust it. Oh, whoa! We have to go really far around in order to even make this work. Okay. Did not mean to use that necessarily. I meant to I meant to reinforce, but I accidentally got mixed up a little bit for a second there. We're good though. The important thing is we're not losing. Ooh. Oh, it's so tempting. It's always so tempting. At the very least, turn off this guy. Oh, turn the robot against the enemies, that'd be great. But right now I've I'm so ghostly. Wow. Got a couple Praxis available. So I could fortify my hacking to make that better. I could add the timer or flash to present. I could go for the stealth enhancer for the for more of that feedback that we've recently lost, which is on the current list kind of tempting. But also like going being resistant to EMP, concussion, and uh, toxic gas would also be nice. But sh you know, I have a whole inventory of toxic gas grenades too, so that that in itself would probably be not a bad idea. Let's go for that. There we go. So now we can ignore, ignore gas for the rest of the game, and I can increase my uh, my sprinting duration after this if I want to. That'll be something. Jensen, four GPLs just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm missing one. Dr. Reeds. I know. Keep tracking them. And I need you to try something else. Try something? What? Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. And there's a distraction. Oh, that was the explosions. Holy shit. You guys are fast. Also, this place is filled with guards now, so screw these guys, huh? Yay! <laughs> you know what? Chaos is fun sometimes. It's not the peaceful option, but God damn it, it just feels earned when you get the opportunity to turn robots against their masters. And, uh, also, there's a whole fleet of characters coming through, and having their robots turn on them is great. Alright. So did I just take care of the objective? About the... Yeah, yeah, secondary objective. I don't know, it's a dash now. I think it was taken care of, because he said that we suddenly could see everybody's GPL signals, so... Seems the signal jammer was just kind of like a non-objective, like it just seemed to automatically happen by playing the game. And there just was not a side thing. I mean, it was a side objective for them, because in the storytelling it was like, This is a problem, we need to fix it. And so I fixed it, so that made sense. But from a structural standpoint, I didn't have to do anything different to make it happen as a player. Combat rifle, sniper rifle. If I don't ha if I don't need any more, I don't need any more. I mean, I'm not I'm not using ammo. <laughs> That's fine. All right, we're in. 